It looks like this year's iPhones will be the first phones to pack the 7 nanometer process. Some very credible pictures of the OnePlus 6T's box have emerged and we like what we see. And Samsung is even bringing a triple camera to its Galaxy A line this year or next. I'm Jaime Rivera and uh, back on the green screen back in New York. I know this face is jet lag as it, oh my God, I can't even start. This is Pocket Out Daily. <laughs> The official news today begin with uh, leaks that became official. The Vivo V11 is now live, obviously in Asia to start. But what makes this phone special are a couple of uh, design changes, like that teardrop design that we've seen in the Oppo F9. The fact that there is an on-display fingerprint sensor, which is great, and specifications of a premium mid-ranger. I'm not sure it's going to leave Asia anytime soon, but you can learn more about specs in the description. And for those of you that remember the whole April Fool's thing of uh, five camera lenses on a Nokia phone that apparently would rotate this and that, it seems that uh, the company actually took that joke seriously up to the point where apparently there's a prototype out there. Uh, we're not exactly sure if it's like what we saw in the joke where the camera actually rotated to a certain degree. I think that would be the best design. Uh, this one actually looks very weird. It looks very sci-fi, but hey, you never know. And speaking of the trend of more cameras on your smartphone, we hear that, uh, well, Samsung, LG, Apple, all these companies are working on bringing triple cameras to the future, but apparently uh, it's not just going to be to the high-end phones. It seems that Sammy wants to bring that to its A lineup as well. We actually heard rumors very early on that this might happen. Now it seems that it could even happen this year. Stay tuned for that. Let's move the spotlight over to one of the phones that I'm looking forward to most lately. That's the OnePlus 6T. We've covered so many rumors and the whole Vivo design actually could have something to do with the OnePlus 6T because the leaked photos that just emerged show us the box, show us a certain uh, literature that uh, points to that teardrop design in addition to an on-display fingerprint scanner. That could be great, but we're not exactly sure if that's gonna happen or not. We'll see as well. And finally, the hot news today, believe it or not, have to do with iPhones. Uh, we are just a week away from the event, and we've just been surprised by the fact that apparently this processor for the next generation iPhones is bringing the seven nanometer processor. And I just came from Berlin where Huawei touted that uh, they were the first at seven nanometer, which brings 30% uh, more efficiency and et cetera. But apparently the iPhones will launch before that Mate 20 Pro that's gonna bring that processor. That's all fine and dandy. We will see in the end what happens. So just keep in mind, this is probably that best time for you to do something about your current iPhone or for you to consider buying a current iPhone that's already on its way out. You can find devices like the iPhone 8 for 419 bucks at Swappa. And this is probably also the best time to link your device at Swappa as well. You can learn more about that in the first link in the description. In today's question, let us know, what do you think? Seven nanometers of technology. Do you think that uh, Apple has everything it needs to make that iPhone succeed? Because in my case, I feel that if they get a better camera and bring the headphone jack, that'd be great. But leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com. Subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.